KS Services is now offering preventative maintenance plans as low as $12 a month. Preventative maintenance is so important when it comes to your HVAC system. Let us come check your system out and perform our 22-point inspection. It's better to be safe than sorry. We have so many plans to choose from and special offers that go along with them. Call today for more information. 205-322-9090. Alabama license number 11120. Weather Extreme Video, this is the afternoon edition for Friday the 30th of November. I'm James Spam. Alabama's weather a little bit stormy as we start the weekend. The big question is, can severe storms be a problem tomorrow? We'll take a look at that and a change to colder weather next week. Here we go, upper air look this afternoon. Got a trough digging down across the southwest United States that is progressive. That will bring rain and storms to Alabama through tomorrow at times. There's the visible satellite view. You can see pockets of convection bubbling up in the clouds, although southeast Alabama is still mostly sunny today. That was the radar at 232. Pretty good bit of rain across the northern half of the state. And we'll see that rain continuing times on through tonight. And again, the chance of some stronger storms after midnight. It's mild. Temperatures are in the 60s. Look at Montgomery. There it's 74. How about that? And I do think we're going to see some low 70s in many locations over the weekend. And around the nation, for now, the cold air trapped up north, but we'll start to feel that again by early next week, especially Monday night, Tuesday, Wednesday. Winter storm warnings in effect for parts of Nebraska, South Dakota, Wyoming, Montana, also as parts of Oregon and California. And we note down here in the deep south, we have a flash flood watch for uh, parts of southeast Alabama. That includes Andalusia, Geneva, and Dothan, and Ozark, and the Florida Panhandle, Pensacola, Fort Walton Beach, Panama City. For rain that could be heavy at times tonight and tomorrow. Got uh, severe storms a possibility through tonight. West of the state, we have an enhanced risk of severe storms around the Arklatex, where Oklahoma, Texas, Arkansas, Louisiana come together. Uh, we got a marginal risk down into Mobile and Baldwin counties for late, late tonight. And then tomorrow, a risk of severe storms from central Illinois down to the Gulf Coast. No big change in the outlook for Alabama. We've got the standard slight risk. Level 2 out of 5 south of Interstate 20. A marginal risk, level 1 out of 5, from Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, Anniston, north. And we'll talk about this in detail in just a moment. And on day 3, which is Saturday or Sunday, we got a marginal risk from uh, Tallahassee up to the Outer Banks of North Carolina. Here's the rain for the next 7 days. California still looks fairly wet. And we look fairly wet. Rain amounts... Heaviest down in southeast Alabama, that's where the flash flood watch is in effect. Some folks there could receive over three inches, amounts closer to one inch up on our end of the state. And this is the last time you'll see this graphic until June 1st of next year. Tropical season ends at midnight tonight for the Atlantic Basin. So model fans, let's go. This is the GFS, the uh, 12Z run, valid tomorrow at noon. Deep upper low northwest of Kansas City, and it's a stacked system. There's a surface low underneath that. And, of course, we're in the warm sector. And let's take a look at the modeling. 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, have a number of showers and storms around. Those could be strong, but I don't think they'll be severe. Uh, you might be uh, hearing some thunder early in the morning, but, again, uh, they should be weakening as they cross into Alabama. Noon tomorrow, showers and storms shifting down into the southern half of the state. In North Alabama, relatively quiet. And the question is, can additional storms form along a dry line moving in? Let's go to 3 o'clock, and again, you can see evidence of maybe a few little isolated storms popping up uh, in parts of central Alabama at 3 o'clock. And the question is, can these things form? And if they do develop, they could be severe. The main threat, strong winds, maybe some hail, just a low-end tornado threat. Is the main dynamic support is lifting away. Bottom line is, this thing is a bit out of phase, but we'll have to watch for any development tomorrow along that uh, dry line coming in here. So, uh, again, in terms of the severe wet threat, the main window probably from noon until 6 o'clock or so, uh, this is the instability uh, valid tomorrow at 3, and really there's not much for North Alabama. And understand, this is a very conditional severe weather threat. There's a chance nothing develops on the dry line. And this is kind of suggesting that might be the case for North Alabama and the significant tornado parameter with some fairly impressive numbers along U.S. 80, uh, Demopolis, Selma, Montgomery, so again, we'll just keep an eye on things and understand these cool season systems can bring surprises. So be aware of that. 
Now, Sunday, everything's out. Should be a nice day. Morning clouds, partly sunny by afternoon and uh, low 70s. Very comfortable. Monday, a cold front uh, approaches and the winds veer to the north. And it sure looks like any rain on Monday most likely would be over the southern part of the state. Uh, For North Alabama, the odds of rain look fairly low at this point. Monday would be mostly cloudy, breezy. Uh, The high in the 60s, we could see falling temperatures later in the day. Tuesday, sharply colder. A strong north wind. Uh, We might stay in the 40s all day. Sky partly sunny. And Wednesday, again, uh, windy and cold. Uh, Lows probably upper 20s. Highs in the upper 40s. Strong north wind. The, The anomalies, temperatures way below average for the deep south. Thursday, we're still cold and dry. And a week from today, Friday the 7th, a troughing well to the west. We're still dry. Rain to the west of here. And then the next day, Saturday, December 8th, looks wet with a surface low in the Gulf of Mexico. And that's suggesting some snow for Atlanta with a wedge and maybe some snow for Little Rock and Memphis. That's a close call. But uh, again, look, this is you know, more than a week out, this will probably change just the way it looks now. This is out uh, 10 days, Monday the 10th, deep trough down here in the deep south that looks kind of cold and dry. Here are the numbers coming off the European, well up in the 60s over the weekend. And again, I think we see low 70s uh, on Sunday and maybe even tomorrow in spots. Then Monday we drop to 62. Then highs go back in the 40s for the middle of next week with lows below the freezing mark. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. My next video will be posted here Monday morning at 7 o'clock. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend and God bless. 